Welcome to the Jenga Game Kit tutorial for Blender 2.64. I'm Tim Hickey and I'll be showing you how to use the Jenga Game Kit to learn a few of the basic movement and view changing skills in the Blender user interface. So let's start off. Um, I've already downloaded the Jenga demo.blend file and um, to start it up I'm going to double click on it. I've also downloaded Blender from the blender.org site. So let me double click and this will start up Blender. Here we go, Blender 2.64. Here's the Jenga tower. So let me show you how you use this, how you play Jenga. Um, here if I hit, uh, well, okay, if I hit the P key, it starts the physics engine, which is a physics simulator and shows the background and you have a tower which is standing and if I hit escape you go back to the uh, blender interface um, now down here you can see there's these three arrows they these are the translation widgets for the selected uh, block which was down here and I can use the green key or the green arrow to move it left and right um, and the red forward and backward and the Z up and down. So let me move it up to the top and over a little bit and hit P to play. And it still stands. Escape. Uh, let's make it fall for fun. So if I right click down here, um, I've selected it and I can lift it up and now hit P for play. And the whole tower falls down. So I would have lost if I were playing Jenga. I hit escape to go back out. And now let me reset this. So if I use the control command Z key, it will reset it. Move it back down. So that's basically all you need to play Jenga. You take turns going back and forth, uh, right clicking to select a block and using the translation widgets to lift it up and move it around. Um, however, if you really want to play, you're going to be able, you're going to need to change your view. So let me show you how to do that. If you hold the middle mouse button down and drag, it will rotate the view. So here I can rotate my view around. Um, in fact, you see if I rotate in this way, you can clearly tell that I've selected the second object, the middle um, middle block here. If I right click here, you can clearly tell which one I've selected. Um, you can pan the view. Here, let me click, select this one up here. Pan the view by holding the shift key and the middle mouse button and dragging. That pans the view left and right or up and down. And you can zoom by holding the control key and the middle mouse button and dragging. Zoom, zoom in and zoom out. Like so. Um, and uh, R, hold the middle mouse button, you're rotating about some center. Um, one other useful view changing mechanism is the um, view selected item in the view menu. So if I click on the view menu, go to view selected, it will center on the item I've selected. So now when I rotate, everything is rotating about that item I've selected. I can zoom out, shift middle mouse button, drag, and click on this one and then view selected, view selected, and now I can finally, I can move that with a uh, uh, great deal of attention to where it is. And here I've lifted it up. Okay, um, so I believe that's all we need. Um, at this point, you should uh, stop this video Start up Blender, follow the steps, and play around with the Jenga toolkit until you get used to these few operations. So let me review. What we did was we showed how to select an element by right-clicking, how to use the translation widget arrows to move it, move the object. Uh, middle mouse button drag rotates the view about some center. Shift middle mouse button lets you pan. Control middle mouse button lets you zoom, or you can use the mouse wheel, likewise, if you've got one, to zoom. And view selected, view view selected, uh, centers the view on the single item you've selected so that you can be very 
very careful about how you place it. Like so. And then finally, P is for invoking the physics engine, and the escape key is for getting out of it. Great. Uh, when you're done, you should quit. Don't save it because you don't want to save uh, the version. You may want to take a screenshot, but you want to be able to keep the uh, Jenga toolkit in its initial state. And we quit either using the file quit menu or by co doing command Q. So uh, have fun. And once you master this toolkit, game kit, you can go and try one of the other game kits. Bye-bye.